okay farming is a part of our curriculum also today is a special day it's raining also you must be wondering that why we have chosen this day for uh, you know a plantation activity that too we are going to call it not rice plantation but rice transplantation have you heard of the word rice transplantation before yes, yes. you have done this activity before also so you have an idea about it okay not i'm just going to revise the things again so that when you are doing this activity you have a proper recall of memory and you understand the whole process fine so rice transplantation is a practice where we what we actually do see for all plants all plants grow from what seeds okay so there is a proper method of the selection of seeds so whenever we have to select the seed the first thing that any farmer will do is that take the seeds and put the seeds in water so when the seeds are put in water you will see you all can observe also that few seeds come up and the remaining sink down okay so any idea that why some of the seeds are coming up obviously they are they are damaged seeds because they are hollow hollow so they become light so these hollow seeds are hollow actually because they might have been eaten by some insect so they become hollow and we are going to put in water the lighter seeds come up so it's very easy for us to remove the seeds and keep the healthy seeds down also by adding water what you can do is you are aiding in the process of germination because the seed is after germination the seed is going to change into sap so for the rice cultivation the first step is selection of seeds and after the selection of seeds these seeds are sown in smaller areas smaller areas mean nursery beds okay so all the seeds are put in the smaller area that is a nursery bed and there they are let listen they grow they germinate and almost for about 20 to 30 days now the seeds are going to change into saplings now these saplings should attain a height of almost 6 to 10 inches then they are ready for the next process that is called as the transplantation now transplantation you have you know transport okay so what is transport taking things from one place to another now transplantation of rice is when you are going to take the rice sapling from the nurseries and you are going to take them to the paddy field now you can see the field here this is the paddy field okay we have a school farm also behind what is the difference between that farm and this field major difference lot of water so paddy field has a lot of water because water is one of the major requirement the most important part um, is what is required for the growth of the paddy or for the rice is a lot of water so the paddy field is prepared in this field there is a lot of mud and a lot of water now the rice sapling that we have brought from the nurseries now in the nurseries you have heard of different varieties of rice okay can you give me some names of rice Brown rice. brown rice and white yeah. rice is the type but then the different kind when you go to a when you go to khabar je like basmati is there kola is there indra is there okay so now today today we have two varieties that we are going to you know sow here or transplant here the one is a indrani and the second one is what you call as the marathi word daftar and 1008 daftar is a bag i think in marathi okay so daftar 1008 and indraini okay now you can see there is one sapling here this is the indraini sapling the shorter in height you can say and a little light green in color and behind you can see on the sides the long ones the lush green ones that is daftar 1008 okay now here you are ready for the uh, transplantation of rice now for the transplantation of rice how you have to hold this sapling is at least an inch above than the roots you should not be damaging the roots and with this your thumb and the index finger you are holding it like this then you are going to go on the field there you can see a rope that is from one end to the other end it has proper red marks so you have to stand at particular distance why because if you are going to sow all the saplings together then it is going to be overcrowding of the saplings and they are not going to get a proper nourishment and then not grow into a healthy plant so you are going to stand at distance and then you are going to insert it deep inside this <laughs> okay just this much you are going to put your hand in and you are going to put it there insert it there but make sure that you are going to fix it properly straight fine and at a time you are going to get one or two saplings that you are going to insert deep inside fine 
Now after that, what do you have to do? It is raining, so very good for you that you don't have to add a lot of water because we are going to irrigate the field. But during rains, it is useful for us. Why? Because we get automatically the paddy field gets a lot of water. Fine. But in which part of India do we have more of paddy cultivation? Uh, Tamil Nadu. Tamil Nadu. Tamil Nadu. West Bengal. Because these are the areas which get a lot of rainfall as well. So obviously paddy cultivation is more in the areas which have more of the rainfall. Now you are going to means we are going to leave the saplings there. They grow into proper plants. Okay. Proper uh, branches and all, and they have proper stalks. On the stalks are going to come the seeds. These seeds are going to be of what? Rice seeds. Okay. Now, after this growth, what is the next process of agriculture? You have, you know, preparation of soil was done, selection of seed was done. The plant has now grown. Now you have to harvest. Last year also we brought a harvester. Yes. So, ha. Huh, combined machine was there. So harvesting means cutting off from the stalk. It is cut. So harvesting is there and then threshing. Last year it was a combination. Harvester and thresher. Harvesting is cutting from the stalk and threshing means removing the seeds from the stalk. Now what seed you get that is having a proper seed coat. Brownish color. So when you are going to do the threshing, the seed coat also gets removed. Okay? But still there are some parts of shaft that are still mixed with the seed. So there is one more process that is called as winnowing. Okay, so winnowing, what do you do? You take the seeds along and you just, you know, suppose this is the direction of the wind, so the person is going to stand this way. Okay, and the heavy seed starts falling down and the shaft that is lighter in color, that is moving along, with, it flows along with the wind, so it is separated. Now you have the seed ready with you, right? Still it is a little brownish color. So what is in practice mostly, that is, this brown rice is actually very good for your health because it is having a lot of nutrition because seed grows mostly the surface of the seed has most of the vitamins okay. still what do we do is in practice what is done is that we polish the seeds so when you are going to polish the seeds let them become white color so the rice that you get at home is of what color white so in this way this is a small story of the food